Now the Apostle Paul says that those who worship him, meaning Jesus, are being conformed to the image of Christ. So as we work for Jesus, we start to look like him. In obeying his teachings, we are being restored to what God the Father intended us to be from the very beginning. Knowing Jesus and knowing he is the image of God, it renews and restores the image of the one true God in us. And this makes us more fully human beings. If we view God as the one who demanded Jesus' blood, and as the one who is just waiting to destroy us until Jesus steps in the way, then we are in danger of becoming like that God, angry, retributive, two-faced, and so on. But if we follow Jesus and his Father, then we follow the path of the kingdom, the path of love, the way of true humanity. Now this is straight out of the book of Matthew. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So thus by their fruit you'll recognize them. Everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will not enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name and perform many miracles? And I'll tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. You know, I saw one, one version that stated, I can't let you in my father's house. I don't know who you are. Therefore, anyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house upon the rock. Rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house upon sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew, and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teachings, because he taught as one who had authority, and not as their teachers of the law. Now scripture says that God is love, and Jesus came to reveal the true nature of the Father. He says, I am the truth, the way, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If it's not love, it's not God. The only way that we can become one is through love, not at all what man considers unity. Now how does this happen? It happens through the Holy Spirit, our earthly mother. All it is is love, following. Love one another. Little children love one another. If you do this, it'll be enough. John 15, 21 to 25, the message. They are going to do all these things to you because of the way they treated me, because they don't know the one who sent me. If I hadn't come and told them all this in plain language, it wouldn't be so bad. As it is, they have no excuse. Hate me, hate my father, it's all the same. If I hadn't done what I have done among them, works no one has ever done, they wouldn't be to blame. But they saw that God signs and hated anyway, both me and my father. Interesting. They have verified the truth of their own scriptures where it is written, they hated me for no good reason. Put it in the context of what we know these days, but now you know better. Yeah. You have no excuse.